doing a session for a client. I'm going to go ahead and read these goals here and get started. Okay, my question is, how am I doing spiritually now? For example, am I meant to channel and do light language? And what I'm doing now, is it done right? I don't know. I wish to get some reassurance. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to relax now and get tuned in. So are you doing things right? And what should you be doing? Hmm. What I want to know is why are you second guessing yourself? All right, so I'm entering into your energy field and a couple things going on. First off, you're distant. You're energetically distant. You're not wanting to meet me eye to eye or face to face. There's also this really gorgeous, and I mean absolutely gorgeous, droplet of water. It's almost thick like a like a substance of some kind that's not water, but it's crystal clear. I mean, I can see through it. It's really pretty looking. It's enormous. It's like the ultimate giant dr drip of water. And it never drips fully. It just sort of lingers. I'm looking at this. I'm looking for you as well. So I take this droplet of water and I bring it in front of me as though it is you. And then I have you stand before me as this beautiful drop of water. And you have like a very white metallic appearance. And in, in some viewpoints I can see through you like water. In some viewpoints you look like a metallic white color. You're also male, more male than female here. But there is male-female energy that comes from this drop of water, which is now, it sort of looks like a, a person in a way. It's got arms and legs. It has a round, what would be a head. It's really resisting self-expression. I keep seeing this drop of water turning into a male persona. It has an Asian appearance. Even kind of an anime look with the dark brown hair that's so, sort of pulled back and sort of over, oversized eyes, but excited, youthful, attractive for an anime boy. Maybe even edgy, spontaneous, funny. kind of dilutes it, his appearance back into this water droplet. And I'm starting to see your whole energy field becomes the color of this, what is like clear and then metallic white. I feel like part of this resistance is, is about identity. You don't really have a place to be grounded in who you are or what you are. Or how to express that. And I say, well, let's start with you are a drop of water. Let's start with, to me, you look like this. Clear, metallic white. To me, you have a male persona that stands before the female persona. Has a fun-looking nature, anime boy. It's kind of an Asian energy, but it has like the big round eyes that are brown. And sort of dark brown hair that's sort of, of like pulled, like it's all like slicked back and kind of up. Like it looks kind of like he's a, I don't know, edgy or something. I say, well, why don't we just start with these details? Because that is the first way that you want to present yourself to me when I enter into your energy field. 
And I say, why did you not want to show yourself to me in the beginning when I first stepped in? Why were you avoiding me? It's the female side that comes out from behind the male side. She also looks like an anime girl, a much younger girl, like maybe five or six. He looks to be like 18, 19. And she's very shy. She has a stuffed animal in her hands. And she kind of um, like hunches forward and looks down in a way, very shy type um, expression. She wears light purple and white colors. She also has more of a, a softer brown with a softer brown colored eyes. She's meek. <sighs> this is doing amazing rebalancing work here for your crown, your third eye your heart. I know your throat's in the midst of this. I mean, this is like a chakra rebalancing work because you're going to have to get grounded in, in your own identity and you have to own up to you are doing great. If you feel like doing light language, then do light language. How can you be uncertain whether or not you should do light language or not do light language? Why are you doing it in the first place? Because something feels right about it. So you need to say, I am in the right place at the right time doing the right things and I'm doing a great job of it. You need to own up to these facts of your identity. Otherwise, you're getting wishy-washy about it. You don't want to be wishy-washy, energetically wishy -washy. I mean, you want to be solid. I know what it's like to just not be sure, to want to have more direction. So I'm, I'm trying to understand, well, what is it about your energy field that you can't feel confident in yourself? So this is what we're looking at. The female side needs to grow. grow. She needs to... Um, have more age and more maturity to her. And I feel like her growth is has to do with confidence in yourself. And that he's like the big brother that's supporting her, um, helping her to feel safe and secure. But she really needs to feel safe and secure in herself. The male side also can't let go of his role. He's sort of overly protective, um, almost like a father figure, much older brother taking care of a, a much younger sister, almost parental um, o over his role. So your divine masculine side and divine feminine sides are showing me this in relation to your question. I will say that me talking about this, going into your energy field, looking at what we're seeing here, sort of analyzing it, it's really um, moving energy, particularly in your crown, is the loudest, is in your crown. And that energy, as it's sort of circulating through here, is moving energy in your third eye and your heart. I'm surprised there's not more um, affected here with the throat, like the throat, all the other chakras are really behind the scenes of these three chakras, which is fine. It's just these three chakras are the loudest in how they're moved by our conversation here. So I'm going to ask your energy field. It's, it's a question without words. And it has to do with what next? How, how are you going to leave this session feeling transformed by it with even next steps moving forward from here?
I see the youthful female side and youthful male, but they're they're obviously a little bit different in age here. Um, they're they're having a psychic communication. That is, they're gonna they want to try um, working on their relationship in a different way, even creatively exploring their appearances and their personalities differently. And she wants to grow up, but he kind of wants to grow younger. <laughs> And see what that balance feels like. It's almost like they're very playful. Like your male and female sides are playful. They're creative. They want to play with different identities, different roles. But something um, as fun and creative and youthful as it, as it feels to me, um, it's also avoidance. I find that to be avoiding because you're already all the ages, you're already all the personas. So it's again, it's sort of avoiding what is just all that you are, being all that you are as a whole expression of divine masculine, divine feminine energy. And from within the spirit of that is all that you are. They instantly understand what I'm saying. And I feel this conversation is moving into the heart. And from the heart, it's generating light in all directions that is affecting the movement in all of your chakras. Again, it feels like a rebalancing of your chakras, which is rebalancing your sense of self. Which is going to help you. All right, that's all I can share. That was really neat. It was very comfortable in your energy field, very even therapeutic. It felt therapeutic for me. Um, it wasn't, it was gentle, it was patient, it was reserved. Um, but it was, it's almost like a friend that isn't overly talkative, like um, a really good listener, just encouraging you to just share and share as you work through life together. It's, it's an odd, um, your energy field is very comforting. It has a very comforting persona to it. I could imagine that you, th th this essence of water, you could be a very, um, you help people purify themselves by you just being you, by you just being there. But also there's a playful, innocent, creative side of your divine masculine, divine feminine, selves you feel more enriched after this session you feel more like you needed to see yourself in this way um through my eyes i guess so you could see yourself now through your own eyes just by looking through somebody else's eyes it gives you something more to work with you have a lot of watery type energy to you it's really beautiful all right. Thank you again. Thank you for sharing as well. Those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. I'm also on Patreon at abbynormalswisdomquest. And I have two other YouTube channels. So come check me out at my Abby Normal channel and my Zodiac Energy Readings channel. Have a great day, everybody.